we need to take some extra steps to add or subtract fractions with different denominators. In this video, we will go over a few examples to ensure that you are comfortable with the procedure. If given two unlike fractions, where the denominators are not the same, all you have to do is to make the denominators the same just by finding their LCM or least common multiple. This step is exactly the same as finding the LCD or least common denominator. We have here an example, 8 over 9 plus 7 over 6. As what you can see, the two fractions have denominators that are not equal. First, let's make them equal by finding out their least common multiple, which will serve as their least common denominator. Let's start by listing all the multiples of each of the denominator. So, we have 9 and 6 here. The multiples of 9 are 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, and so on. And for the multiples of 6, we have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and so on. By just looking at the table, least common multiple of both 6 and 9 is 18. Therefore, our least common denominator here is 18. 18 divided by 9 is equal to 2, then times 8, and that is 16. 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3, then times 7, and that is 21. So now, we can add 16 and 21, since they already have the same denominator. Same method when subtracting fractions having different denominators. Example, 11 over 5, minus 9 over 7. Here we have 5 and 7. Multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and so on. And for number 7, we have 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, and so on. So, the LCD is 35. 35 divided by 5 is 7, then times 11, and that is equal to 77. Also, 35 divided by 7 is 5, then times 9, and that is equal to 45. 77 minus 45 is 32, so we have 32 over 35. Remember to reduce answers in lowest term. But if you want to add or subtract with the same denominators, all you have to do is add or subtract the numerator, then just copy the denominator. Let's say for example, 10 over 13 plus 12 over 13, since they have the same denominator. Let's just add the numerator, then copy the denominator. So the answer is 22 over 13. Remember to always reduce fractions to its lowest term. But here, this is already the lowest term. I know, this is very easy for you. Since this is just a review in adding or subtracting simple fractions. So, ace your upcoming examination. Good luck.